clean, um, scaled, and gutted. Okay, so what I'm gonna do with them is I'm gonna ferment them. And these are all clean, so they're ready to go with the seasoning. I'm gonna add some sea salt. A tablespoon. MSG, optional. So a tablespoon. Some roasted rice powder. Oops, where did that come from? It's a rub band. <laughs> okay, about two tablespoons. And some fish sauce. We use this one first since it's already opened. Okay, this is gonna take a while, so hold on. Okay, so I'm just using enough to cover the fish or to coat the fish. And some dry galanga. About one, two, three, couple, about four to five big pieces, you know. Okay, and then we're gonna mix it. And once this is thoroughly mixed, we're gonna put it into a jar. Okay, so I'm going to use a jar. I just want to stuff them, pack them lightly in. Okay, I'm going to pour in all the juice as well. Okay, see, you notice that the fish is not covered in, in the juice. So what we're going to do is we're going to add some more fish sauce to it, okay? So you want it to sit in the fish sauce. half a bottle of this fish sauce. Okay, and then, see how it's all covered? Okay, so now what you want to do is get some saran wrap. Kind of just stick that in there so that it helps keep it, keep the fish submerged. So, all right, and then we're gonna cover it. I'm using a pickle jar. <laughs> and we're gonna cover it and let it ferment for about a month to two months, okay? All right, so we're gonna let this ferment for about one to two months or even longer. Um, just gonna let it sit out um, in room temperature, okay? And we'll check back in a couple months. Okay guys, so this has been fermenting, or has been fermenting for about two months. Two months and one week, to be exact. And this is what it looks like right now. The, um, the water is murky and brown. That's the color it should be. Okay. Remove the uh, saran wrap that we put in there to cover on the top. Okay.
The fish is still intact, but it has a nice fermented aroma to it now, if you know what I mean. So, fish, the broth. Okay, and this is now ready to be used. I'm gonna make a, uh, I'm gonna use this in a pepper sauce that I'm gonna be roasting. Okay, so I'm gonna make a pepper sauce with this fermented fish and the ingredients that you're gonna need is this. This is um, chopped up lemongrass, chili peppers, uh, garlic, and cilantro seeds, okay? Just chop them up really nice like this using a mini chopper or whatever you have that you can chop up like this. So what I have here is some shallots some green onion and cilantro, some kapha lime, I'm not kapha, uh, this, this is kapha lime leaves, this is kalanka, and lemon basil. I'm not sure the name of this herb in English, but I like to put this in as well. So if you know what that is, please uh, leave me a comment. But it's got this hint of lemongrass citrus aroma to it. This is um, an herb that I really like. Yeah, if you don't have this, this is optional, okay? So I'm just throw everything in here. Okay, and I'm gonna add a tablespoon of MSG. And then we're going to add the, um, the juice from the fermented fish. But make sure that you mix it up really good first. Because all the flavor is in the bottom of this thing. Just kind of mix it up. Shake it up. Shake it up. Okay. Put one, two, three, four, four tablespoons. are really already smelling really nice. Okay, like that. And then we're gonna get the fish and just throw a couple pieces in there. Maybe four. I'm eyeballing everything guys, so if you like it spicy, add a lot of pepper. If you like more garlic, add more garlic, you know, whatever herbs. Okay, and then we're gonna wrap this up in a foil and we're gonna roast it. Okay, all right, so what I have here is some foil. Need about three sheets or so. So wrap it up.
and then this is ready to be roasted. Okay, so I'm gonna roast it this way, um, just on my stove top, but you can definitely put this on a grill. That would be a lot easier, but I don't wanna fire up the grill, so I'm just gonna do it like this, okay? And you wanna just let this roast until it's cooked, probably about mm, 20 minutes, 20 to 25 minutes, okay? Okay, so it's been about 22 uh, minutes. It's ready. It's done. I'm going to turn off the stove and open them up. Juices all come out. Mmm, smells nice. Mmm, delish. The fish is all disintegrated once it's cooked. Okay? Transfer it to this here. And don't throw away the juice. This is the best part here. Just pull it on top of the uh, whole thing. Oops. Good stuff right there. And voila. Fermented fish pepper. Roasted pepper. Okay, so to eat with this, all you need is some sticky rice. Got some right here. <coughs> right in. Just like that. Mm. Yummy. The herbs and the spice and the fermented fish is very flavorful together. Good combination. And just eat this like this with nothing else. Just stick your rice in this all day. I'm good. I'm good for today. <laughs> mm. Delicious. Okay, guys. For the rest of the fish, fermented fish, just refrigerate it for your next use. Okay? Alright. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye. Do you like? <laughs>